It's been a week since the country went to the polls and a Labour landslide was announced. Later in the programme, I'll be joined by MPs from the three parties with seats in Wales to discuss what happened and what's next. Welcome to Politics Wales. I'm Tulare Glynn-Jones, also on the programme. Good morning. It's been another chapter in the First Minister's book of bad weeks. Hannah Blythin spoke for the first time publicly since she was sacked, denying any role in the leaking of ministerial messages. Nation Cymru made the unprecedented move of confirming she was not their source. And things got heated in the committee for the scrutiny of the First Minister, where Vaughan Gething restated the evidence he has linking Miss Blythin's phone to the data breach. All of this while the questions around his judgment accepting donations in the election race are still swirling. We asked the First Minister, Welsh Government Cabinet and all of the Welsh Labour MSs to join us on the programme, but no one was available to take part. But joining me now instead is Tom Gifford. Um, you said a few weeks ago that the, the gig was up for the First Minister, um, but he's still there. Um, can, can he continue? The media, she's not, you know, nation companies say she's not the source. Um, but what Vaughan Gething is saying is that it, it came from her phone. You know, presumably, well, if I'm from the Welsh Conservatives, thank you very much for coming in this morning. Now, earlier I spoke to Wales Online's political editor, Ruth Mazowski, to put the week in context and began by asking her about the eventful week that's gone. Now, people in Abertillery who didn't vote in the general election say they feel forgotten by politicians. The town's constituency, Blaenau Gwent and Rhymney, had the lowest voter turnout in the country at just under 43%. Across Wales, 56% of voters filled out their ballot papers, compared to 60% across the UK. Our reporter Gemma Dunstan went to find out why some people chose not to cast their vote. I'm afraid. Thank you all for coming. I'm sure we'll see a lot more of you over the next few years. Diolch fawr iawn. Diolch. Diolch. And that is it for this week. My thanks to my guests. If you'd like to get in touch, the email address is bbcpoliticswales at bbc.co.uk. Roger Llewellyn will be here next Sunday at 10 for the last programme before the summer. But that's it from me, Will Vaudichie. <laughs>